So what's it like to be back? Great. It really is. It's it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. I, Coach Smith's putting together a really good staff of guys, good people, good coaches. So it's been fun. It's also kind of fun to come back and see kind of how things have changed. This you know, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of change, <laughs> and and amazing how good a job they've done here with the facilities and things like that. You had a pretty good job. You left to come here. What sold you on coming back? Um, you know, the first thing, Coach Smith. You know, he's a good person, a good coach. Um, chance to come and build something. Um, you know, I think it's going to be a good crew. I think, you know, we got some work to do, but we're going to have fun doing it and do it the right way and hopefully build something special. Did you have a relationship with Jonathan prior? prior? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I actually was here as a coach when he was playing. That's right. But yeah. You, you were, and then we crossed paths a lot, okay. you know, and there was times, I think one time he was at Montana, maybe we went out recruiting and kind of rode in the car together and did some recruiting together. And, you know, you cross at camps and things like that. We've crossed paths and talked every time, kind of chance we get. Talked football a bunch too, so it's been kind of fun. He's a first time head coach. You know, what What are the qualities that you see in him that make you think he would do a good job at it? Uh, I, number one, I, you know, you can go back, he's competitive. You know, he's a great guy, uh, down to earth, but he's got a competitive streak in him that, that is gonna, I think, filter through the staff and through the players. Um, he's smart. You know, he knows how to put things together. I think he has a great vision for how he wants to do the things. And I think all that stuff, you know, is going to come through to, down to the players. And I think the head coach sets the personality for the whole organization. I, I, I'm a true believer that through the head coach down to the assistants, through the players, it, it, it develops an attitude amongst the team. I know it's been a quick sort of transition for you, but have you had a chance to do any kind of evaluating or see what you have to work with? You're trying to, you know. Uh, Watched a little bit of film and tried to kind of see, but it's hard because you know you're, when you're watching the game film, you don't get to see many of the younger players that are redshirt and things like that. And, and so as we go forward, it's been such a whirlwind here for the first signing day. You know, as we get, I'm kind of looking forward to getting back and mm -hmm. when the players come back from Christmas of sitting down and meeting with them and, and seeing where we're at. And How we do get you? Know each other. You know, you've been around a lot of programs. This program right now, after this bad season and the coach quitting, how do you help transform that culture? A great question. I think the biggest thing is, is we're just starting new. You know, everything's new. It doesn't matter what was done before or how it was done before. You know, this is the way Coach Smith wants to do it. This is the way we're going to do it to win. And, you know, I think there's a little bit of, it's going to take some work to the trust, to, the trust of the players. You know, there's a lot of that that's, uh, you know, it's a tough deal. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody who's gone through tough years like that, it's, everything's tough. You know, and the weather's not as good and, you know, it's whatever. So we're going to have to build that trust and, and I think just set the vision and keep going. What kind of characteristics are you looking at in the alignment? It seems like some of the, <laughs> some of the teams are pushing more th towards athleticism as opposed to size. What do you like? You know, I think the first thing, and, and everybody always asks me, what do you want? You know, I say, well, 7 foot 12, <laughs> you know, 420 <laughs> pounds, runs 4'8", yeah. and yeah. you know, 5 fat, so. Uh, no, really, I think the number one characteristics are who the person is. You know, what kind of, are they competitive? Are they workers? Offensive line play is not, it's tough. You know, you get out there and after the second play, you're tired, uh, you're sweating like crazy, something's hurting. Uh, you know, who are the guys that have that competitive nature in them to, to press through that and want to win? You know, and that's, so I think you start with the person, you know, and. Um, Obviously, the athletic ability part is a big part of end size. You know, I think as I'll generally err on the side of a more athletic guy than a bigger guy. I can go find 300-pound guys everywhere. Mm -hmm. To find a 300-pound athlete, sometimes you'll take a smaller guy and, that you could see the growth potential. Um, but we want to be multiple in what we do, and, and we want our linemen to be able to get out and do some things, which I think opens some things up for us.